Peace. Live and direct. It's absolute from the Absolute Boss Collective. We out here on the road, man. And I wanted to get at some of my peoples with some of the questions that they had. Okay. I this is this is a special video to one of my sisters that reached out. She's we've we've had a phone consultation. And uh, she has some specific questions around swing trading and uh, specific strategies and things like that. And I wanted to touch on that. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like the video, hit me off with a comment or a question. You know what I'm saying? And um, if you want to get down with We Ball, I got a link below. If you want to get down with Robin Hood, I got a link below. If you want to support the mission, Okay, my Patreon link is below. Okay, get at me. Set up your own phone consultation so we can get at the specifics that you need to achieve your goals here at the Absolute Boss Collective. Okay, so in this video, we on the road, son. Okay, we are gonna talk about riding or dying with the stock market. Okay, the reason why I choose that title, when this sister reached out to me, she shared a video and this video, the dude was talking about some specific strategies in buying the clothes and selling on the open. Okay. Now I'm not going to say that some of the stuff that he was saying is false. He did have some good points. And when I get at you, uh, my client, my sister, I'm going to send you some key information that speaks on some of the things that he was talking about. Okay. If you're interested in getting that same information, just hit me up with a, a, a comment or a question or something like that. And we could work something out, but this is specifically for my sister. Okay. Now, when she was sharing this video with me, uh, it struck a nerve with me. Some of the things or the way that the video was presented is as if, this guy had some kind of magic formula, some kind of secret sauce. And I'm here to tell you, there is no secret sauce. There is no magic formula, okay? Uh, you win some, you lose some. If you remember in the movie Friday, when John Witherspoon called Ice Cube with the gun, told him to put the gun down, told him to put his hands up, and explain to him that you win some and you lose some. That's how it is in this game, okay? You do your homework, okay? You're gonna win some trades, you're gonna lose some trades, okay? Uh, and an, uh, one of the famous quotes is, it works until it doesn't, okay? I primarily trade technicals, okay? Because I'm a scalper, I'm a short-term trader most of the time okay so sometimes i'm i'm right sometimes i'm wrong okay it's probabilities okay you're gonna win sometime you're gonna lose sometime so don't let nobody out here sell you no information the video the sister sent me man this dude was charging two thousand dollars man and all the information that he supposedly is providing is available on the chart so all you need to know is how to read the chart. Once you know how to read the chart, you can set your strategy. You can uh, set your entry and your exit, and you can make some money all by studying the chart. So don't let people out here play with your head, man, and make you think that, oh, we got we got the hustle for you, or we, we got the magic recipe. There is none, okay? You got to do your homework. You got to work for it and you will be rewarded, okay? So the sister wanted to know about swing trading, okay? That's her goal, is to be a swing trader. In our phone consultation, we discussed that based on what's going on with her and her schedules and things like that. I think that that's what's best suited for her, swing trading, okay? So when you swing trading, you're capturing short, to medium term gains in a stock over a period of a few days to several weeks, okay? So you're not like me who's trying to 
ring the register every single day throughout the day that's scalping that's day trading you're in you're out you're in you're out that's it swing trading you might enter on monday and exit on friday you might enter on wednesday and and, and exit two weeks later okay but you're still just capturing a short term gain Okay, as a swing trader, you primarily want to use technical analysis to find the opportunities. This is to find the uh, the area of su uh, supply and demand. That's what it's all about, supply and demand. So when there's a lot of supply, the market or the price is going to fall. Okay, and when there's a lot of demand, the price is going to rise. So in between that action and activity, that's what you're looking for. You want to exploit that. Okay, uh, you're just trying to capture a chunk of the potential price move. Okay. Uh, incidentally, shout out to my sister. Listen, you mentioned those stocks, and I looked at those those uh, stocks. So what I've done is I have highlighted these movements on the chart, okay? We are talking about NEO and PLUG. So with NEO, I have a weekly chart. I have a monthly chart. And on those charts, okay, on these stock charts, you are going to see where I highlighted the up and down movement showing that you could have entered on a low point and sold on a high point several times. So for NEO, I did a weekly and a monthly. And for plug, I did a no no pardon me for the neo i did a daily and a monthly and for plug i did a weekly and a three-month chart to show you on those different time frames where it could have been highlighted now mind you i did this on my phone i did it with my finger so there is going to be you know it's off a little bit okay and you see me pointing here and point in there and point in here that's where the charts are gonna come in when i do the editing all right so just bear with me it might be a little bit off but when you see that chart that comes up in the video whenever it comes up maybe right now Or now, okay. When you see that, you're going to see the movement, okay? And that's where you could have placed your swing trades. Now on the daily chart, obviously it would have been a daily uh, trade. So it wouldn't really be technically a swing. Okay. Uh, now swing trading generally is a process of identifying where an asset price, price is likely to move next. Remember what I was mentioning? Probabilities. Okay. It's where it's likely to move next. Okay, uh, you will take your uh, profits or cut your losses using a risk reward ratio. All of these terms don't get caught up in the terms. If you don't understand the term, leave a comment below, man, and, and, and I'll answer it. I'm also going to do videos. You know, my channel is new. This is we're about a month in the game. So I'm going to do videos on all these terms that I'm mentioning. And to my sister out there who's going to get that packet that I'm going to mail you a little bit later during the editing process and you'll get more information detailing these things that i'm mentioning in this video for all you guys out there that's getting the overview 
Prepare yourself for to learn what these terms mean. It sounds crazy, but it's not really that crazy. As more of you study, you're going to be able to understand this and it's going to become a second language for you. Okay? So, one of the questions... By the way, I want, I want to shout out my brother. My brother's with me, man. We out here on the road. We doing little things. We running around. This is a businessman himself. And... uh we running around doing some things. So he's here with me. It's the first time I have a guest here at the Absolute Boss Collective. Say something to the people, man. What's up? Peace. Okay. It's not a man of many words. That's a, He's all about the paper. Anyway, so some of the things that the sister wanted to know about was swing trading. And this particular strategy of buying the clothes and selling it be open. Okay. This can work. But as the quote has mentioned, you know what I'm saying? The quote goes like this. It works until it doesn't. Things don't always stay the same. Now, there's patterns that you will find in a stock chart over any period of time, over, a, you know, extended periods of times, over weeks, months and days, years. You'll start to see patterns emerge. And that's what technical analysis is all about, identifying these patterns. Some of these patterns are, you know, uh, oh, I should say patterns and activity, okay? Uh, you have support and resistance. Support is the price where a stock tends to stop falling. Resistance is where a stock price tends to stop rising, okay? You have retracements. Price has risen very high or whatever. It'll retrace that movement that it has done, okay? You have moving averages, 20-day moving average, 50-day moving average, 200-day, 100-day, 8-day, 13-day. All of these different things mean different things depending on the time frame that you are trading. But basically, it's saying, what is the moving average? I could ask my brother right now, what is the average amount a customer spends in your store at each transaction and based on his homework that he's done his stuff that he's tracking he is able to tell me the average customer spends this so this is the same thing with the stock over all of these years months and days that it's been active and people have been trading it this is the average price over 20 days over 13 days 200 so on and so forth then you have the trend lines, an uptrend, a downtrend, a sideways movement. You have the head and shoulders pattern, okay? You have double tops and double bottoms. All you freaky guys out there, we're not talking about those double bottoms. We're talking about price action on the chart. Flags and pennants, triangles, wedges, gap ups and gap downs, reversal patterns, cup and handles, V tops and bottoms, outside and inside days. And with all of these different things, okay, there's not one of them that is law, okay? Because you see a head and shoulders pattern does not mean that this is gonna happen 100%. So you wanna line up different things. You want to build a case for why you should buy or go long a stock or why you should sell or short a stock. You wanna build a case. And what you'll use is some of these chart patterns along with confirmation of, with volume. You see a price moving up, but the volume shows that it's only five shares traded, then that's not, necess that's not necessarily a real move, okay? You wanna see confirmation with volume. You wanna see a moving average hit a certain point, whether it's a bullish point or a bearish point, with confirmation of volume, with confirmation of what's going on in the overall market. You put all of these pieces together and this is how you make your decision as a swing trader or a day trader or an investor of where you should enter and exit a particular position. So when this guy was in that video talking all this stuff like he was the man, you know what I'm saying? Which we know is false because Absolute is the man here at the Absolute Boss Collective, son, okay? But this dude is acting like he's the man. And basically all he was talking about was price action, which anyone can identify 
if you do your homework or if you reach out to the brother absolute and I can show you where to go so you can get up to speed so you can learn how to do that homework so you can make money just like anybody else okay so we want to look for confirmation with volume you want to look for overbought and oversold indicators divergences okay uh now all of these different terms that you heard right whichever one that you're interested in or you're confused about or you want to know next leave me a comment below and i'll make sure that that's one of my next videos that i do all of these things that i just drop right now on you i'm going to do videos over them but y'all got to give me time because you know i be on the grind monday through friday trading you know what i'm saying so as time allows, I'm going to crank out these videos for y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can know when the guard drops something new. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I really want you guys to understand that there's plenty of snake oil salesmen out there. Many people out there that's selling you programs for $500, $1,000, $2,000, $5,000. And... Not to say that they're, they may be good programs. They may be good information. However, there is free resources out there for you that you can use, okay? My sister client, she wanted to know some of the websites that's good for charting, so, uh, to, to find stock charts. You have Finviz, okay? F-I-N-V-I-Z. You have MarketWatch. You have Yahoo Finance. You have, I mean, those are the main ones that I use. Any one of those. Oh, also, stockcharts.com. So a lot of these sites, you can go on and pull up stock charts for free. For free. A lot of them, like stock charts and Finviz, have a lot of overlays the overlays are some of these oscillating in indicators or you know support and resistance your moving averages your rsi your stock stochastics all of these different terms a lot of these free websites have the overlays and you can put it right on your chart if you have a brokerage account already they more than likely have some charting software on there that you could use as well Okay, now whatever course you want to chart, you want to be a day trader like me, you want to be a swing trader like the uh, my, my sister client, you want to be an, uh, an investor, all of these different positions or, or, or roles that you want to play with this market when you ride or die with the market, that's what I'm talking about. It takes work and effort. You have to be willing to take the ups and the downs. You have to be willing to do the homework. OK, the homework is the gas that you're going to put in the engine in the car that's going to drive you through whatever term you're doing, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, whatever. OK, so whatever you want to do, what that depends on what kind of chart you should be looking at. For me, I should be looking at daily and weekly charts because I'm just exploiting very short term moves. My sister client. She may look at weekly, monthly to quarterly, a three month chart. She could be looking at to plot her moves for her trades. Okay. Um, let's see. I think I hit everything. Oh, okay. I'm going to get that in a minute. Um, now, one of the things that I want to mention to the sister, right? She said, how can you determine when a stock is selling off how, how can you determine how do you determine that that's happening and basically once a stock hits support it should bounce once we breach support meaning we go below support remember the support is where a stock price has a tendency to stop falling once we breach support okay that's a very negative sign. Now, this can happen on an intraday basis. So for me, if I'm in a trade intraday, which means during the day, that's a day trader's time frame. If I am in a trade intraday and we break support, I may need to close that trade. 
Because it's already told me if I'm bullish, okay, and it goes down and it breaks support, it's already telling me, the chart is telling me that I am wrong. Depending on what my risk tolerance is, what my stop loss is, whatever I'm willing to lose, I'm going to have to secure that and close that trade because it's already broke support. And what that's telling me, it has proven to me that I am wrong on that daily basis. Now, if this sister is trading swing trading and this breach of support happens on a daily chart, it may not affect her because we're only talking about one day. And she's talking about a longer time frame, maybe a month or two months or three months even. OK, so that may not affect her and she may be able to hold that position and wait to the next support level holds. OK. Is that clear to you? If not, leave me a comment and I'll get back at you. OK. Uh, one of the other things. OK, so so basically with that support and resistance as a swing trader, you want to enter at support and sell at resistance. That's one way you can do it, okay? But once you see that support is broken, that's one way that you can tell, oh, this is a serious sell-off. You see that support broken and you see that there's a huge volume spike when that support was broken, that can indicate that an institution is dumping shares. That's a good sign that, uh-oh, a sell-off is happening. I need to make my move. Unless you're shorting. If you're shorting, then that's the time to really pile in because you're on you're on the point you're making money there another thing that i like to look at on a day-to-day -day basis is the high price of the day the low and the closing price this is a for me as a day trader and i look at monday's high monday's low and monday's closing price that's an indicator for me on the next day so on the next day if we breach the low of the previous day, then that's an indicator to me that this is some bearish action right here now. It's selling off, it's not holding support. It's not holding the previous day's low. You feel me? Does that make sense to you? You know, I know it sound, I know it sound all technical and all that, but it's really not that deep, B. It's really not that deep, you gotta study. Okay, let's see, did I uh, mention everything here? Okay, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're about to get back on the road. We got moves to make. This is Absolute from the Absolute Boss Collective. We're about to ride or die on the market starting tomorrow, Monday. Oh, did y'all see Bitcoin? It's like 60. You know what I'm saying? You need to check out my Bitcoin video. You know what I'm saying? Where I called that. You can also check out my fundamental or technical analysis video. Okay? This is Absolute from the Absolute Boss Collective signing off. Peace.